I'm going to go over two examples on how to find the rest of the trig functions if you're given one trig function and you know which quadrant you're in. So let's say they give you that the sine of theta is equal to 4 over 5 and they tell you that you are in quadrant 2. Okay. Now, sine theta, uh, we're not uh, any sine, whether it be a unit circle or not a unit circle, is really y over r, and cosine is x over r. So I know from what they give me that y is equal to 4 and r is equal to 5. Well, in order to find my x, I'm going to use the equation of a circle, which is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, um, which centered around the origin. And then I'm going to put x squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. And I get x squared plus 16 is equal to 25. And x squared is equal to 9. Now, when I take the square root of both sides, I get two answers. I get x is equal to 3 and negative 3. However, this is what the quadrant will help me. I'm in quadrant 2. And if you're in quadrant 2, your x values are negative. So my correct x value here is x is equal to negative 3. Okay? So I have y is 4, r is 5, and x is negative 3. Okay. Now, with all that information, I should be able to get all of my trig functions. So I'm going to erase this. Okay. So I know that y, once again, was 4, r is 5, and x is negative 3. So uh, my, cos oh, my cosine was x over r, so that's negative 3 over 5. My tangent is y over x, so that should be 4 over negative 3, so that's just negative 4 thirds. Okay. Now, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Okay? So if sine was y over r, cosecant is r over y, so that's going to be 5 over 4. My secant is r over x, so that's 5 over negative 3, so my secant is negative 5 thirds, and my cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent, so it's x over y, so that is negative 3 over 4. And those are your uh, five other trig functions given the, the sine and the quadrant. Okay. Now, uh, let me do one more problem just to uh, finish this off. Let's say they gave you now the cosine the cosine theta is negative 6 over 7 and they say tangent of theta is greater than 0. Okay? Now what this means is um, cosine is negative, right? So if you remember, cosine can be negative. Cosine is really an x value, right? So cosine is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. And if you forget, remember that you could cheat it with all students take calculus. Cosine is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. 
but they also tell you that tangent is greater than zero. That means tangent is positive. And I know from all students take calculus that tangent will be positive in the third quadrant. So I know from cosine being negative, I could only be in the two or three, and then tangent being positive means I am in quadrant three. Okay? Now, remember that cosine theta is really x over r, so I know my x is negative 6 and my r is 7. So now let's just find what my uh, y is. So this is going to be negative 6 squared plus y squared is equal to 7 squared. I get 36 plus y squared is equal to 49. And I'll get, um, I'm going to continue here, y squared is equal to 13. And so if I square root both sides, I have y is equal to positive root 13 and negative root 13. However, since I'm in quadrant 3, I want my y value to be negative. Because in quadrant 3, my y values are negative. So my y is negative root 13. Okay. So now let me try to find all the other trig functions knowing that my y is negative root 13. Okay. So I have x is negative 6, r is 7, and y is equal to negative root 13. So my sine is y over r, so it's negative root 13 over 7. My tangent is uh, y over x, so that's negative root 13 over negative 6. Negative over negative makes it positive, so I'm root 13 over 6. Okay. Now my secant, since they gave me cosine first, I'm going to do secant first. Secant, I'm going to flip the cosine. So secant theta is equal to negative 7 over 6. My cosecant, I'm going to flip the sine. So that is negative 7 over root 13. However, I want to rationalize my denominator. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by root 13. So my cosecant is negative 7 root 13 over 13. And then I'm going to erase this. I'm, let me find the cotangent. The cotangent is flipping the tangent. So that is x over y. So I have, um, well, I found my tangent earlier was root 13 over 6. So my cotangent will be 6 over root 13. Or you could still do it from here. Negative 6 over negative root 13 will become positive 6 over root 13. And then I rationalize this, and this will become 6 root 13 over 13. So that's how you find the five other trig functions given uh, one of your trig functions and knowing uh, certain restrictions on them.